Hello beautiful people, it's Hannah and welcome to the paper pad. Today I am making a envelope flip book. So right now I'm just picking my papers and cutting them down to a size so I can turn them into envelopes. I apologize if this video is going to be a bit late because it's already 3.20 and I'm just now doing my voiceover. I got caught up with watching The Greatest Showman and I couldn't pull myself away. So it's alright because we're here now and we're doing this. Uh, like I said, I'm just starting off by making envelopes. You can use pre-made envelopes and then decorate them with paper, or you can get the We Are Memory Keepers paper cutter, which is what I have. I will have it linked for you in the description down below. So basically you take three, four, or however many envelopes you want of the same size, and then you put glue on the top flap on the, what's that called? That part of the envelope the opening flap and you glue it to the back of the next envelope until you have a chain and then they will all fold up one at a time over onto each other and voila you have a flip book i absolutely love making these flip books the only reason why i don't make them as often is just because they're super simple and i like to try and, and do new and innovative things, but I honestly have always enjoyed making envelope flipbooks. So now I'm going to decorate them. Another great part about this is that it's such a simple base that you can make them seasonal and decorate them however you want. And of course, you can include a lot of goodies, which I really like to send a lot of goodies. It's always been a plus in my book. So I'm taking some gold tissue paper and I'm going to glue it on some different parts of the envelope as well as some brown paper bag paper just to make a unified decorative look. I also was listening to something whenever I made this mail, apparently, because you can see my earbuds, like the string, um, in the corner there, because I don't have AirPods, you know. <laughs> I was probably listening to The Hobbit. I am currently rereading that for school. I read The Lord of the Rings for the first time over the summer, so I was really excited to reread The Hobbit, of course. Let me know if you've read The Hobbit and what you think of it, and if you like The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings better. I kind of prefer The Lord of the Rings. Although the Hobbit is shorter and quicker and um, more upbeat <laughs> for the most part, for obvious reasons. But let me know what you think in the comments. So I decided that I was going to add an additional pocket with some scraps of vellum that I had. What I'm doing is I'm lining it up with the mail and then I'm taking my bone folder from my envelope punch board to make a line. That way it will fold over so I can have a pocket that has additional space. So when you fold the sides of the paper over, it gives a little bit of space between the paper you're gluing it to and then your pocket so you can add some additional goodies. I hope I explained that well enough. Obviously you saw me do it, so I don't feel as much pressure to have to explain things perfectly just with the film. But if you would like more details on some of the random stuff I do, like making pockets and whatnot, do leave a comment and give me that feedback. I wanted to add one more cluster of the brown paper and the tissue paper in the bottom right corner. Now I'm going to make a washi tape sample to send to the receiver. I Essentially you take a scrap of paper and then you wrap some washi tape around it, that way the receiver can peel it off and use it. I tend to use samples in journals because I don't know how much is exactly on the roll, but they're super easy to use in a small project like a journaling page or decorating a pen pal letter and things like that.
These are some adorable stickers that my cousin sent me that say washi made me do it with like a little stack of washi tape. So I will walk you through all of the other goodies that I included. Right now I'm picking out some ephemera pieces from a scrapbooking pack to send. I ended up filling it off camera, but I'll walk you through the different pockets. It's This mail was kind of hard to do like a final flip through of because I had to close it up and I did a little bit of decorating last minute off camera. So the ending, you're not going to get like the clean final mail that I can normally show. I had a coloring page with all of these different feathers on it, so I ended up cutting them up and I included two of those in a pocket as well as some cacti coloring pages. My head appeared on camera for a minute and I have no clue what was going on with my hair this, this day. If you are curious about other things that you can include to send to your pen pals, I have a video on that on my channel. I think it's a pretty good one because it has some more, it has like a, 10 common things that are sent and then 10 more unique things. So if you're looking for a new idea because you've been pen paling for a while or if you're looking for just what is normally sent, in a pen pal mail, I have you covered. In that first pocket, I had my ephemera pieces, washi tape sample, and then sticky notes. In this pocket, I have puppy stickers, two uh, light bulb cutouts that slide together so you can hang them on a garland, and then of course these feather cutouts and the cacti coloring page that I mentioned earlier. You now get to watch me struggle to put all this back in the pocket because it got crammed and apparently I was sending too many goodies in one pocket and I kind of struggled with it for a while. Now in the last pocket I have two corner bookmarks two tags, and then some circle stickers, which are good for closing letters or just decorating a journal. I ended up including my letter in that top pocket there, and now I'm going to seal it all up. Of course, I'm going to do a little bit more decorating on the outside. I hope you enjoy this camera angle. This was a different day, I believe, which is why I didn't have my setup. So I wanted to do a quick, just what I'm doing. I did some collaging, and then I added some stickers. Last but not least, I did a little bit of wax sealing, both on the pocket with my letter in it and then in the actual envelope. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment because comments help the video go farther. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more pen pal and journaling content. Until next time, this is Hannah signing off.